guys. Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In yesterday's video, we were talking about the unusual behavior noticed in the magnetosphere and the ionosphere of the Earth. You can see a, a very bizarre bulge showing up there. Yesterday, during the, the geomagnetic storm as the, the CME impacted the Earth, well, there's another one on the way that we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But I want to revisit this real quick because I saw an article over here this morning over here at spaceweather.com talking about a weird light seen in the, the nighttime sky during the arrival of this CME and also at the same exact time as this very unusual behavior that was being detected in the magnetosphere and the ionosphere. Apparently, there was a leak in the magnetic shields last night during the arrival of this powerful CME Earth's ring current is leaking. Article over here at spaceweather.com goes on to say during the strong G3 geomagnetic storm on September 12th, and if you look at the, the date stamp during this anomaly, you can see it clearly says September the 12th, and the anomaly over here in the magnetic shields also showed September 12th. So all of this stuff aligns, it's consistent with one another, and apparently this red ring was spotted around the world from Germany all the way around to Colorado. The article goes on to say Jeffrey Dixon looked up from Ontario, Canada and saw a red band stretching across the sky. It was a sign that Earth's ring current had sprung a leak. And there's the, the red line that was in the sky, again, wrapping around most of, if not all of, the northern hemisphere. He goes on to say, I'm not sure if it was Aurora, if it was Steve, or if it was Airglow. Actually, none of the above. Dixon photographed an SAR arc. SAR arcs were discovered back in 1956 at the beginning of the space age. At first, researchers didn't know what they were and unwittingly gave them a misleading name, Stable Auroral Red Arcs. However, they are not auroras. The red glow comes from the, the Earth's ring current system. And what is the, the ring current system? Earth's ring current is an electric current that flows around the Earth, carried by charged particles trapped in the planet's magnetosphere, primarily consisting of energetic ions circling the Earth near the equatorial plane and is created by the movement of these particles in a longitudinal direction. Essentially, it's a stream of charged particles orbiting the Earth, generating a magnetic field that can be affected by solar activity. It's part of the magnetic field. The article goes on to say, yes, Earth has rings. Unlike Saturn's rings, which are a vast disk of glistening ice, Earth's rings are made up of electricity, a donut-shaped circuit carrying millions of amps around our planet. During strong geomagnetic storms, thermal energy from the rings can leak into the atmosphere below, imprinting a red glow among the auroras. Basically, a red ring spanning around the entire northern hemisphere. People that saw this were quite taken back as, as this looked highly unusual. They were out looking for auroras during the geomagnetic storm, and again, were quite surprised when they, they saw this red streak going through the sky. Here's a photo out of Pennsylvania. Those definitely are not auroras. Here's another photo out of Germany. You can see the red streak going through the nighttime sky taken by Andreas. Here's a photo out of Colorado with both the, the red streak and auroras during the, the geomagnetic storm. So apparently what these instruments were trying to tell us was there was a situation going on with the magnetosphere leaking during these anomalies that were showing up on both of these graphs revealing a component of the magnetic shields this red ring current became visible for about four hours during the strong geomagnetic storm that arrived on the 12th and speaking of strong geomagnetic storms we're probably going to see another one here in the next 48 hours as there's been yet another x-class solar flare that sent a shock wave through the solar system you can see it right over here on the the southeastern limit of the sun and this is a very active region that's turning towards the earth right now as I do this video. Obviously it contains the necessary components to create X-class solar flares as this is number two from this region and it's barely facing the earth. It will be facing the earth squarely here in about 48 hours but that is one very strong active region right down here in the southeastern limb of the sun and what's causing all of this activity is when you see the red and blue plasma 
plasma touching each other. One is positive, one is negative. And when they touch, you have large solar flares, some being M-class solar flares, some being X-class solar flares. These have been X-class solar flares. And here's the latest one reaching way up into the, the X range. That was an X-4-class solar flare that occurred less than three hours ago. So once again, Earth's ring current sprang a leak during the latest geomagnetic storm that, that really wasn't even that strong. I mean, it was a, a moderate geomagnetic storm, but we've certainly seen stronger. But there was something unique about that entire event. We talked about the CME that was headed towards the Earth that, that had an unusual look about it. And then once it started reacting with the magnetic shields of the Earth, it became even more unusual. And then we find out that the, the magnetic shields basically sprung a leak, or at least the ring current sprang a leak. So, so very interesting times indeed. And again, we have another strong X-class solar flare and CME headed towards the Earth. I want to take you guys now over to Sacramento, California. This photo was sent in by Polenta of a highly unusual sky, not something you see every day. You've got random looking clouds that you can tell are being influenced by the wind. But what was this in the middle of the clouds? It doesn't look like any type of a contrail because it's only visible inside whatever's going on here. There's some sort of a unique feature that she happened to notice intertwined in this unusual cloud spotted in the skies above Sacramento. Thank you, Polenta. Really appreciate that. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Innsville out of Ontario. This is the moon from two nights ago, visible once again from Ontario, Canada. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com. Look for this red banner that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.